Hello, everyone, and welcome to the webinar. My name is Jess Larkin, and I am the Marketing and Communications Specialist at Cornerstone. I'm your host for the Build Your Brand webinar series and your go-to gal for all of your marketing questions. I want to help you build a brand that's focused on growth. Today, we're talking about onboarding kits, which is not a topic that we've ever covered in this series, but it's so very important. And before we get into that, we'll start with a little bit of housekeeping. My contact information is on the screen if you'd like to get in contact with me. Also, be sure to give us a follow on social media. We post industry and cornerstone updates and information. So go to LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube to give us a follow. In case you haven't heard, I'm now offering a full service marketing consultation program. We'll take a closer look at your existing mar marketing strategies and resources, help you establish realistic and measurable goals and objectives for your brand, and create a step-by-step -step plan to help you optimize your brand and take it to the next level. Some of the services I offer are brand audits, social media management, print marketing, email marketing, onboarding kits, like the ones that you're gonna learn about today, and more. Also, all brokers participating in this program will receive a free brand evaluation workbook. So contact me today for pricing and for more information. All right, let's get started. It's no secret that first impressions are vitally important, especially in sales. We've talked about this with branding time and time again. When you finally rein in that prospect that you've been working with for some time, you want to do everything in your power to keep them. And that starts with an organized and intentional welcome. Your new client has very big expectations for your service and support. They're likely still in a lofty stage where they're concerned about, did I make the right decision? Did I choose the right agent? Things like that. A comprehensive client onboarding process will help you ease your client's concerns and welcome them properly to your agency. Building that strong foundation of trust is gonna help you provide the most value possible as the relationship progresses. So what does onboarding actually entail? Well, let's consider the onboarding that we've all been through before. Freshman orientation in high school, new hire onboarding at a new job, and even some apps like Netflix have some sort of process to help integrate you into the service or the role. Imagine throwing an accountant or some other position into an organization with no onboarding or training. Talk about overwhelming. They won't know the systems, they won't know who they're working with, and they likely won't stay very long at that company. Well, the customer experience in health insurance isn't so different. Health insurance is very complicated as it is, and many consumers look to an agent to do that heavy lifting for them. It's easy to create a set it and forget it system with clients because the most important interactions may only take place on an annual basis. That's great, but here's the secret. Today's consumer is more empowered than ever and their expectations are very high. They can find the service they expect at the click of a button. They wanna know what they're signing up for and they wanna understand because there may be a better, more affordable option out there. And that's where you come in. You are, after all, the health insurance expert. Many clients don't understand health insurance at all and they're gonna rely on you to guide them towards the right decision. Put yourself in the shoes of a client who knows absolutely nothing about health insurance. They've contact you, contacted you to help them find a plan that works for their budget and their needs. You send them a couple of quotes with the same old caveats. They choose the option that they think will be right for them. You sign them up, they have health insurance. Okay, great, but what about after that? A well-defined onboarding process should answer the client's questions before they're even asked. Provide them with simple educational resource materials that help them better understand their health insurance. Give them a list of every possible person that they could talk to in regards to settling a claim. Provide a timeline of what managing their health insurance plan actually looks like on, a, on an annual basis. Is there something going on in the news that might affect their plan? Put that information in the onboarding packet as well. Let's go back to the freshman orientation in high school example that I gave. You're 13 years old and you're starting in a new school where kids seem bigger than you and you're in a new building and it's three times the size of your middle school so you're freaking out. You don't know anyone here and you're a little nervous that you're gonna walk into the wrong classroom at some point. Well, that's why they have orientation. 
they provide maps, they do icebreakers so you get to know your classmates, they introduce you to some students who have been in your seat, they provide you with information on how to connect with the nurse and the guidance counselor, they walk you through setting up your email, Every tiny detail is covered to make sure a student feels more at ease when they start at a new school. So why are your clients any different? With the world of health insurance being so large and so ever-changing and confusing, your clients want a roadmap of what your service looks like. They want to know what their health insurance means, why they need it, and how they can take advantage of it. Your job as their agent is to give them exactly that information. To put it all together in a concise package, I recommend creating a welcome kit. There is an example of this on the screen to your right. Your welcome kit can be a nicely branded folder or it can be a downloadable PDF um, that you can send via email. Welcome kits are very well branded, they're comprehensive, and above all, they're helpful. You don't want to include any extraneous information that they don't need to know, and you don't want too little information that they just throw it away in the trash when they get home. So here are a couple of my best recommendations for a good welcome kit. The first is consistent branding. Presentation, as we all know, is vitally important. Much like you'll wear your best suit to meet a new client, you want your marketing to do the same. Your welcome packet should have the same fonts, colors, and branding as your logo and the rest of your marketing resource materials. So like your website, your social media, print marketing, et cetera. That brand consistency means more than you might think for a client. It makes your brand recognizable and it helps establish trust with your clients. Everything should fit into one folder or packet. Like I said, Health insurance is compl complicated enough. You don't want to hand over a 20-page packet to your client and say, here you go, figure it out, stupid. <laughs> the key is to lead the horse to water with a simple document that helps them keep organized and engaged. While welcome kits in the past have been largely print, the last year or so has pushed for more digital communication. So creating a thorough PDF that you can email to your clients is not only going to be cheaper, but it's probably more likely to stay with the client at this point. You don't want your welcome kit to get lost in that paper shuffle. And finally, the folder and packet should be high quality. In this case, a Microsoft Word template, it may not be the way to go. And if you're going to opt for printing the packet, it shouldn't be on standard paper that you print from your home office. As I said, your clients are living in 2021 and their expectations are high. Just like you would with a resume, put your best foot forward with your welcome kits. But what do you actually include in your welcome kits? Here are a couple of options, but you're not limited to these. A welcome message from you thanking them. Start with a hearty welcome. These clients are the reason that your business is chugging along and they deserve a thank you. Introduce yourself, give a little information about your background in the industry, and chat about your personal life a little bit. Clients want to know you, not, your just, not just your sales strategies. Personalize your sales process and let them in, especially if you're a family-owned business. A table of contents could be helpful, too. You don't want your clients to get lost in the weeds of information that you provide, especially considering that they've likely received plenty of info from the carrier as well. Give them a nice overview of what's in the packet so they can skip ahead and look for exactly what they need. And about, the, about your business and meet your team profile your vision, your mission, your history, how they can find you on social media, any helpful links. This is where you include everything and anything about your business and your team. Put faces and contact information to the name. If you have support team that they might be talking to in the future, include their headshot and contact information. Again, this personalizes the process. For the contact information, add every detail of how they can get in contact with you for the best response. Are you more likely to answer email quickly? Let them know. Do you expect them to call your cell phone even on the weekends? Let them know. Do they have a carrier contact that they should know about? Let them know. Another section could be your service timeline. What comes next? Provide an annual overview of their reviews, check-ins, their premium payments, claim resolution information, et cetera. What can your client expect once you've hung up the phone? Maybe then consider a checklist, so the things that you actually need from your client to get started. Especially if you're working in the employee benefits space, it can be helpful to provide a step-by-step -step checklist of what is needed for them to get started. 
Do their employees need to fill out any forms? Does your contact need to get registered on the carrier web website? How do they do that? Include all of that information in a concise checklist. Maybe an important dates flyer as well. This would be a great time to mention any kind of qualifying life events, open enrollment dates, etc. Many clients may not know that they have options to purchase or change their health insurance plan outside of open enrollment. Then consider adding other services that you offer. If you offer more than just help with health insurance, this is a great time to mention that. And then resources, access to tools. So this would be if the carrier has some sort of portal, this is a great place to provide that information on how to set up their username and password or access their benefits. And it could also be a great place to offer more guides like a Medicare 101 guide or information about the Affordable Care Act or maybe some product options for small employers. This is also a great place for you to put information if you partner with a financial advisor, a lawyer, or a PNC agent. Um, maybe you can put some information about how to get in contact with them and about their services. Another great and helpful section for your clients may be an FAQ. What questions do you typically receive from your clients and how do you typically answer those questions? And then finally, consider adding a survey to your client welcome packet. As we discussed in the customer and the importance of customer feedback webinar, feedback is vitally important. And what better time to ask about the sales process than right after you've made a sale when the interaction is fresh in their minds. Welcome kits are just one of the many arrows in your quiver that help your client feel more at ease and trusting of your services. But it all comes down to consistent branding. To create your welcome kit, I would recommend starting with Canva, which we've discussed in a previous webinar, and I'm going to link to that in the description below. Canva provides great templates that you can start from if you don't have an eye for design, and many designers have actually created client onboarding templates that you can choose from and add your information to. And then when the kit is done, Canva gives you the option to download it as a PDF and send it to print. You can also outsource the design work. Did you know that this is something that I can help you with? With Cornerstone's marketing consultation services, I can help ease the burden of that onboarding and welcoming process for you by designing your own welcome kit. So you can contact me for today for details on that. Thank you all for joining today. If you have any questions about this webinar or any other webinar in the Build Your Brand series, please feel free to reach out to me at jlarkin at crnstone.com. Have a great day.